Hey guys, I um, I bet some of you are wondering what all this crazy crap on my wall is, but actually, I think what is more interesting is actually what's behind the camera. Uh, let me show you. Alright, what we got here is a life-size replica of Gonzo from the Muppets. Surprise? Alright, the, the movie selection that I'm doing for uh, reviewing on my Review a Day Month Marathon is going to be kind of random. Uh, old movies, movies you might not have heard before, um, newer movies. Um, what I'm going to be reviewing today is another Jim Jarmusch film. I remember on my review I didn't like Limits of Control, but I do like Jim Jarmusch. Um, maybe I just need to see Limits of Control again. I don't think I'm ever going to watch it anytime soon, though. Um, I'm reviewing Dead Man, uh, Johnny Depp. If anyone's a Johnny Depp fan, like, like, you hear usually people when they say if they want to sound like a cool Johnny Depp fan, they'll throw out like a title like Fear and Loathing of Las Vegas or Johnny Brasco or or something like that, and, oh, who's eating Gilbert Gray, Benny and June, but you don't hear many people mention Dead Man, um, Dead Man is a late 90s Jim Jarmusch film about, uh, Johnny Depp is William Blake, who is a young man whose parents just passed away, and his fiance just broke up with him, and, um, uh, he moves to the town of Machine for a job, and unwittingly becomes an outlaw and goes on a vision soul search of sorts. Um, thing about this movie, what makes it noteworthy? It's just so weird. It's just so weird. And like, it's Jim Jarmusch's usual thing, except that it has more starkingly uh, jolting uh, imagery and uh, and sort of jokes, you know, uh, his deadpan humor isn't so deadpan here. It's pretty in your face. Um, I mean, I guess not on the first watch, I guess. The uh, thing about it is, it's, it's sort of like a net... Uh, it's set, it's set like, it in Western times. I don't know. I'm not a history buff or anything. But Western times, it's a Western... I don't think you're ever going to see Johnny Depp in a Western anytime soon. So, I think um, that's not going to happen again. So, I'd say watch it for that alone. I think that's cool. Uh, it's black and white, beautiful black and, beautiful use of black and white, um, so weird, it's, a uh, he, uh, it's a very minimalistic story based on, uh, on character, as uh, uh, Jim Jarmusch invests a lot in his characters and his actors, how the actors work the characters throughout these long scenes is just being scored by subtle music and, uh, and just facial expressions while they're driving or something. Um, but here, um, this movie has a very, it, he can, Jim Jarmusch considers this an acid western. Like, you know, like, uh, uh, Jarrowski's movies like Holy Mountain and El Topo. Uh, sort of inspired by that. Very minimalistic and just a straight story, but it feels so druggy. Like, I can't, and what does it, what I think makes this movie feel so, so random and so druggy and uh, hallucinogenic is a five, like, maybe not even five minutes, a five very bit uh, part by Crispin Glover at the beginning. He comes in, he just walks in, says like five lines of dialogue, sets really creepy dialogue. You're not sure what it means. I won't run it for you. But what he says to Johnny Depp sets this really weird, uneven tone for the rest of the film. And that's not even to begin uh, to describe it. Uh, what else um, makes this movie feel really weird is uh, it has a really interesting score. Neil Young, uh, uh, Jim Jarmusch had Neil Young in mind. He, and by chance, he got Neil Young to do the score for his movie. And what Neil Young did was he 
just went in with his guitar, did his did his resonant uh, uh, country rock thing uh, to the it was just with one guitar, uh, pretty much live, uh, pretty much just improvising live to the to the movie as he watched it, and um, the music uh, travels from being just atmospheric to incidental to an accompaniment at some point um, to to progress the scene. You never know where to, what what the music is doing for the scene. It just plays with your head. Um, not a lot of parts of the plot are very clear. You gotta like pay attention, uh, make make out your own plot. Uh, mine is that I think uh, uh, my sister thought Johnny Depp's character was dead at the very beginning of the movie, and that's an interesting thought. Keep that in mind when you watch the movie. Um, I'm not ruining anything by saying that though. Uh, uh, there's some, uh, and this movie has been applauded f uh, for having very realistic uh, depictions of Native Americans. Very uh, looks like it. Um, there's this part where there's like this big giant warehouse full of boats. Um, uh, that was pretty cool. Um, that Native Americans have, but, well, yeah, while, uh, Johnny Depp's character, William Boyd, he, some, he meets an Indian, and, and, uh, he starts, like, at a soul search, a vision quest, and throughout the movie, he, his, uh, costume changes, and by the end of the movie, he has one wicked costume, I'd love to make that a Halloween costume, it's just, he has this top hat, a fur coat, Indian makeup, and a gun. He just looks so... It's just awesome, in my opinion. Um, but I say check it out. I think it's a very underrated movie. A lot of people have been hating on this movie, saying uh, it's very uneven. It's very uh, very hard to follow. But I think it is... It's supposed to. It's an acid western. You're just supposed to watch it and just be bugged out by everything that you see on screen. Uh, there's one character. There's a... You said there's another outlaw, and there's a character trait about the outlaw that gets revealed very, uh, very abruptly in the middle of the movie, and it's pretty, pretty, that, that's pretty cool, um, I don't want to run anything, it's Dead Man, it's black and white, just, just awesome, uh, uh, I got more reviews coming, don't worry, uh, but do send me your review, your reviews, suggestions, um, cause I'm gonna run out soon, so, I got lots of CDs, uh, but, if you wanna see something in particular, I'll give it a shot, I'll really try, so, thanks for watching guys, comment if you like it, and thumbs if you like it, subscribe if you haven't seen me before, alright, it's me signing out. Help me, oh please help me I'm living by myself I need someone to comfort me I need someone to tell